Hey everybody, so today we are gonna try something a little bit different. A lot of you have been asking questions and so I had my team scour our social media and look for the most commonly asked questions. And today I am going to give you answers to those. How long will the restoration take? It's hard to say, but we estimate about three years for the house and five years for the gardens and everything around it. Although, three years ago, I said three years? It was gonna take three years. So, um, it's hard to know. Of course, we had the pandemic in there and there have been a lot of things that have slowed us down that were totally unexpected, like bats. Who knew? I had no idea that bats would slow us down. But if everything keeps moving forward, I've always maintained that once we actually get started and can keep moving, it'll take about three years to get through the hall and get that up and functioning, and then probably another two years to get the surrounding grounds functioning as well. So all in all, probably five years. But we're gonna try to stay open the whole time and continue to offer tours and events and things like that while we're in the process. So we're not just gonna close for that period. We'll continue to breathe life into it and have the community here and visitors as we can. Uh, so that, that'll be a fun part of it. What inspired you to restore the hall? A lot of people ask me that question and also follow it with, were you crazy or are you crazy? And it really came down to the fact that I came to visit the hall just out of curiosity and when I saw the state that it was in and that someone told me that in the next five to ten years if nothing was done it would be lost forever I was completely moved and I absolutely was inspired by the hall and the artistry and the craftsmanship that went into building it so I couldn't imagine seeing it lost and so I decided that I would need to pack up and move over to England if I was going to take this seriously and be able to commit 100%. Why does the project take so long? It just takes a long time because it's a historic building and every process just, it, it just takes time. I mean, you've got to get all the right opinions. You've got to get craftsmen involved. We have a lot of different heritage organizations that we're working with. We're working with the local council and planning departments. And to get through all of those, you have to go through the consultation process. And we are very specific about what's needed. For instance, mortar. So deciding on the look, the grit, the smooth finish or the rough finish, the color, all of those things that go into what's going to be the mortar on the building that's going to be around for a very long time, so you want it to be the right decision, uh, takes that kind of time to come up with the right mixture, the right discussions, and to move it forward. And then, of course, the other big piece of it is funding because we are going through this rescue project with other fantastic grant organizations like Historic England and like National Lottery. We have to go through the process with them. We absolutely want their opinion and want to consult with them and get their feedback. And then also to apply for those grants and then to actually be awarded those grants and then for the funding to come in takes extra time but well worth it because they know what they're doing, they're passionate about saving history, and they know how to take a project like this into the future. What has been the biggest challenge? I think one of the biggest challenges has been the time because everything takes much longer than you would expect and you also are feeling parts of the building deteriorate as we're trying to fix other parts. So you might be repairing one section and suddenly in the other room you're hearing something crack and crumble and hit the ground. And so that is really frustrating because we're trying our hardest to save it and we're doing a great job and we're making incredible progress, but it's such a big building and such a big project that it does take time. And then of course, the other very frustrating challenges is in the past when we had vandals break in and trash things and damage windows and things that had been repaired and cause more problems and stealing flagstones that didn't need to be repaired. It, it, that was incredibly frustrating. But all of these little things that mount up against us, we have so many more things that are working for us. We have the wonderful community and that just takes us forward into the next process and we just keep going on our path. How can I get involved? 
Well, there's lots of ways you can help and there's a lot of help that we need. Probably the easiest way to get involved is to go on our website, hopwoodhallestate.co.uk, and there you can find out more information. You can sign up as a friend, which will then send you alerts when we're having tours and events, workshops, and other opportunities to get involved, like our gardening club or our restoration club. And that's the best way probably to get started. But there's also other information on our website that tells you how you can get involved. What would you take from the UK back to the US? Well, I'm gonna definitely take back a tea habit. As <laughs> I've now gotten hooked on tea, which is something I never drank before when I was in the US. And some crumpets and I don't know, something else I'm sure, some jam and that, all that whipped topping and stuff that people put on the, um, they put on the, I don't know, what are those things called when you eat with tea? I can't even remember right now. Is it the crumpet? Is it a crumpet? Yeah. What is it? A scone. A scone. No, it's not a scone. Is it a scone? When people have high tea, what is it that they have? They have like... Oh my gosh. You have it? So it's like a scone or something with all this whipped topping on it and oh, it's really, really good. Other than family and friends, what do you miss about the U.S.? Probably the white sand beaches. Those are my favorite. They're incredible, they're beautiful, and uh, I miss them. <laughs> I really miss them, but look forward to going back to you whenever I can. If you have more questions and you wanna hear them answered in a future episode, please put them in the comments below. And one of the other ways you can help us is if you like, share, and subscribe to our channel and also click the bell and we'll alert you about our latest content. And if you wanna see more videos, then join us on Patreon because we're putting up multiple videos there every week. Thanks.